Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today I got a service call that we have no heat. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a package unit. This machine is made by York and we have a no heat call. Right now, I actually just opened up the covers and I turned the power off, of course. And what I noticed is that right off the bat, this wire is just melted right off this relay. Like it's not even connected. It's just melted with the plastic. And the other side of this relay has to, must have went there. The connection is literally just fried right off. One thing that's super scary is that if we look here, this is a jumper wire and this is our flame rollout switch. So that means that the flame comes back, you know, it's gonna sense heat underneath here and it's gonna shut you down because this is a very dangerous situation. Somebody jumped that out. That's one thing you should never do. So first things first, we got to get this relay replaced because follow this wire right here this is our ignition control it says ind so this must be for our inducer motor and we now know the first step for our sequence of operation is that this motor needs to start so can't move on if this doesn't start so let's start by replacing this relay and see what happens so it's a 24 volt coil so this is our coil on the bottom with that contact so let's see what happens all right so i happen to have a relay in my truck it seems to be the exact same one 24 volt coil 30 amp normally open got my stake on kit we're gonna redo all the connections and replace this relay this wire must have went like right here on the bottom. Only that makes sense. I'm just gonna pull this one out, mount the new one, and go one by one. So let's put that to the side. Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC book bag and man is this thing amazing super organized you know where everything is so we're gonna pull off each wire one by one and redo it so If you look at this coil, stake ons are different. These are like super tiny, so gotta replace them anyways. But anytime I do this, I like to have like fresh connections because you really want a nice connection when it comes to electricity. When you see things are like all rusted and stuff like that, you really don't want that. So stick that in there. I hit it like this quick. And I actually have the crimping tool on here. Bam. We're basically gonna go wire for wire.
all new connections. Now that is a beautiful thing. Let's flip the switch and see what happens. Thermostat's calling for heat. Let's see what happens. So we have a steady blinking light. If you read over here, it says flash call. It's heartbeat. That uh, looks like a heartbeat to me. It says normal operation. Let's give it some time. Startup. 110 startup 108. Okay, so it's there's a countdown now. So I guess in 104 seconds we're gonna start. So give me heat. Rollout still jumped out right now. I just want to see if it starts and you know see what happens. All right, it says heating. That motor started. We're getting a spark. All right. Getting the spark. All right. We got fire, baby. Woo! That is amazing. <laughs> that is what I like to see. Got good heat. That's how much heat is coming out of there. So right there, that's your proof. We got fire. All right. And we are heating. We have normal operation. Let me shut this off. I gotta take this jumper off. I'm gonna check continuity between that switch. These are all plastic pliers. These are perfect when you're working like with live stuff, things like that, or you want to pull out a wire and you don't want to get electrocuted. It's good for a thousand volts. I think it's pretty cool. I turn off the power, it should be good, but I'm just gonna take this thing off. And it's, it's rusted tips. So this thing's been on there for a while. <laughs> Call the professional, please. Do the right thing. All right, this is the Fluke 902 FC. And I said I made it to continuity. I'm just gonna check across that switch. No continuity. That's why they jumped it out. Wait. I'll just have a bad connection because it's kind of rusty. I have continuity. Why would they do that? Well, I'm definitely leaving that off. We can't have a system like that. Vent motor started. Air switch, we got to prove that we have air. Got a little pilot. So this valve is gonna open up the solenoid for the for the pilot. Then it's gonna spark once it proves through that flame sensor. We got fire. Next solenoid in here is gonna open and open up our main gas valve. I did make a video of sequence of operation. You guys should definitely check that out on this exact unit. Let's see what happens. Took off that jumper, it's super dangerous. Why did this thing melt? Who knows, maybe because they jumped this out, the flame rolled out and burnt this relay and shut everything down, who knows? But this is no way to run this unit. I'm not gonna do that. It's, it's gotta be illegal too. So, whoever serviced this last, shame on you. <laughs> this is a terrible thing.
things to do, especially this is for a church. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable what people would do. But, you know, maybe don't shame them because maybe they don't know what they're doing. And in that case, <laughs> don't worry on these units either. So, I'm gonna close everything up. Lower motor started, and we're good to go. So from here, we're gonna do what we do best. Go home and grab the remote. <laughs> so if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.